Queer Eye Season 7 dropped in May 2023, and while each of the heroes has their own inspiring story to share, Speedy set himself apart as the breakout star. The 18-year-old uses a wheelchair and lives with his aunt when he arrives at the Fab Five's doorstep. The driven young man is destined for prominence through his inspiring story and TikTok fame. The latest set of episodes all take place in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Speedy stole the season in the third episode. Before appearing as a cast member on Queer Eye Season 7, Speedy endured a tragic accident. In 2020, Speedy was riding in the car with his mom and aunt when a truck ran their car off the road. While his mother tried to gain control of the vehicle, she smashed into a tree. The next thing Speedy knew, he was being transferred to a hospital. He had to receive an operation on his spinal cord, and doctors told him he might never walk again. Speedy was paralyzed from the chest down, and his mother and aunt were killed in the crash that day. What happened to Speedy after Queer Eye Season 7? Speedy's TikTok has blown up since appearing on Queer Eye Season 7. Karamo discovered the Lausiana native on TikTok before his appearance on Queer Eye, but his platform has only grown. In an interview with Netflix Tudum, Speedy said, I'm into coaching right now and still have another job opportunity to be a social media ambassador for the gym I work out at. Life has been great. His newfound fame and confidence have enabled him to increase his social media output and create his new future. Why Queer Eye Speedy is so memorable Speedy was a memorable hero on Queer Eye Season 7 because of his authentic personality, open heart, an inspiring story. From the jump, he expressed that he wished to use his account to empower others, but Karamo astutely noted that first, Speedy had to grieve the trauma of the accident and empower himself. Speedy's open and positive attitude lets him express his grief and move forward authentically. In a first for the show, the Fab Five brought back Queer Eye Season 4 hero Wesley, the founder of Disabled, but not really, to help Speedy make peace with his new reality. Speedy is more than his accident, as evidenced by his scenes with food and drink expert Anthony Porowski and home expert Bobby Burke. Although Anthony had other plans for Speedy, the TikTok star expressed his desire to make steak fried rice to bulk up after losing his appetite post-accident. Anthony brought Speedy to the hibachi restaurant where he and his mom would go for special occasions, and Speedy lit up when he was learning how to cook for himself. Additionally, Bobby showing Speedy apartments and urging him not to settle for less than optimal accessibility empowered him. One aspect of the episode that raised questions was the apartment situation. While the Fab Five paid for a year's rent, it's unknown how much money Speedy makes monthly. Although it's empowering for Speedy to gain independence by living on his own, Reddit users, in the thread started by Polylingual Analingus, brought up concerns, saying, obviously it was very thoughtful to get him his own place and it's expensive to buy a whole apartment. But I just worry that after the year is up hell struggle to keep up, IDK what he does for work besides TikTok or how profitable that is, and lose everything. However, Speedy may already have an answer to that question. According to the interview with Netflix Tudum, Speedy mentioned he wanted to move somewhere safer, like Atlanta or Texas. In New Orleans, the violence has gotten even worse. The hero stated, I just want to be somewhere more safe where I could just roll up to my car and transfer without having to rush. Hopefully, 
Speedy has the resources he needs to make that move after his 12 months of free rent are up. Speedy's a perfect example of a person who doesn't let his trauma define him but uses it to inspire others. As evidenced by his TikTok, Speedy happily embraces his new look while pursuing a social media and coaching career. He's vulnerable and honest with his followers. Everyone seems to root for him. When he expressed discomfort with people staring at him, Tan France encouraged Speedy to give them something to stare at. Hopefully, Speedy can find strength for himself and continue his emotional recovery from trauma through his time on Queer Eye. Source. Speedy for President, TikTok, Netflix Tudum, Polylingual Analingus, Reddit.